One, two, one, two. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Max, what's up? Fine, and you? Yeah, I'm doing great. You're just about of us. Yeah, it's just going to be just two of us, and there's no one else in the group. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So what have you been up to? Hmm. What have you been I'm up to? Some heavy. <sighs> I've been... Um, using a shovel to move a lot of dirt really wow yeah. so you went from it to what hand jobs <laughs> <laughs> well yes that's, that's diversity that's good oh okay so just working How was the last course? Uh, it was easy, like soft, you know, like um, smooth, smooth. That's the word. Uh, everybody. Today. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I we're think. gonna. Mm -hmm. I watched the the first video and it it's a different level. What really? Did that sound like yeah. complicated for you? Uh, oh. No, not really. Just a couple of words, but they speak very fast. Uh, the video? On the video? On the video. On the video. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, well, we'll see that. Actually, let, now that you just mentioned that, let me send something while we wait for the rest. Um... <laughs> Because then they go like, oh, I cannot see the image. It's too blurry. I'll go ahead and send this while we wait for them. So you look quite as usual. Wider than usual? Uh, no, as usual. Wider as usual. I need to work on the lighting. You know, try to do something with lighting. Hello, Daniela. Oh, Daniela is coming. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Daniela. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Repeat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Like a Z is in zebra. Thank you. That's amazing. Teacher, use the word. Uh, use the word not to land in a sentence. Not to land in. No, the word is nonchalant. Nonchalant, that's French. Yeah. I heard that before. I think this is readable. I'm sorry. Um, no, honestly, I have never used that phrase before. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Question. Yep. And what is the meaning of dandy? 
Dandy, you know, I heard that word before too. And I don't remember. Let me find out for you right now. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Another one. Dandy. Use the word bimbo. What? Bimbo. Bimbo. Yeah. Like the word, like the brand? Yes. Okay. Okay, dandy uh, is like saying dude, for example, as a noun and as an adjective, it means excellent, great, wonderful, nice. It's another way of saying nice as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says a man undoubtedly devoted to style, neatness, and fashion in dress and appearance. Oh, that's like trendy, like trendy, the adjective, when somebody likes to be on the trend, you know, bimbo. And, and that goes with an M as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's offensive, man. Ah, use it in a sentence. <laughs> no, don't use it in a sentence. Okay. So you can call someone, hey, you're a bimbo. <laughs> you heard but it goes for uh I don't know. For... It's like calling someone goofy. Uh, not really. It's like when you're um, uh, a stere a stereotypo. Yeah, you just just you have a stereotype on a, a person. Stereotype, a blonde girl, a blonde beautiful oh. girl. Yeah. Okay. Adriana Roca, good evening. Hi. How's it going? Turn on your camera. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Hi. Excellent. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. What about you? Nice. Nice. Okay, guys, now that we're just a few here, I'll just go ahead and um, share my screen with you so we can start practicing because that's the whole idea. You need to talk, 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 okay? A lot. So this, you might remember, you might remember this question that I used to do on previous models and it's very simple so we can get acquaintance, so we can get to know each other again and participate, okay? So. Let's go with a question, a very simple question. What, you can say, what have you, or what, look, what, what you been up to? Okay, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? It doesn't sound that, that strong, you know, what, what you've been up to, what you've been up to. Or what have you been up to? 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 Okay, so what have you been up to? Um, you know, ever since we finished the course, last module, um, well, was last, last Friday, right? I've been um, just working at home, uh, doing nothing, resting at night. I have to say, oh no, wait, we finished the course last module. We finished it on Thursday, right? Thursday, so we had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off. That's like almost five days, four days, right? So I've been resting at night. I've been um, sleeping better, I can say. That's in my case. I've been watching TV with the kids, playing Wii with them, Super Mario Bros. and Mario Galaxy together with them. You know, we are on level seven. So that's what I've been up to. That's what I have been up to. That's what I've been up to. Okay. Would you like to try it? Let's go. Since we are just a few, it was important for you to be here tonight. I'm still waiting for you. Hold on, just one second. Yeah, nobody has replied to my messages. That's concerning. Okay, 
So what have you been up to? You tell me. Who wants to start? What have you been up to? Okay, don't rush. Hold your horses. Shall I? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, I've been working the, the last month as usual because I was absent the last model. I have a problem uh, with my documents. So uh, I couldn't be here with you. Um, at night, uh, I've been trying to fix some computers, so uh, I need to make some extra money. Um, I've been playing video games too, not Mario Galaxy, but some different video games. <laughs> For example, Mario Party with my daughter. Like Mario Party? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that better than the Galaxy? No, but it's it's a lot of fun. Really? Mario okay. Galaxy is a different. It's a different. It's an. It's in a different category. 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 It's category. in a different category. There you go. Category. Great. Okay, Max. Good. Let's work on this. Month. Month. There you go. Module. 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 Joel. 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 It's just like when you say ske Joel. schedule, 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 model, right. module, schedule. Model. It, so it sounds like if you were saying Joel at the end, Joel, model, model, better, module, schedule, schedule, sounds the same. Okay, documents, 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 Q, 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 right, documents. You, you know, go. I had a problem pronouncing pronouncing uh, the word. Uh, what was this one? In Spanish, it's salmon. Salmon. In <laughs> English, it's weird. It's the same. Just the yeah. same. Yeah. But it's pronounced very weird. Salmon. 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 Yeah. yeah. I say salmon. Yeah. Salmon. I, you know, these are words that you not you don't use that. You know, these are, are these are not common words, not commonly used words, not commonly used words, but it's good to know. Okay, other way of saying extra money. I need to make some extra money. Uh, you said it right, extra money, extra yeah. income, an extra, extra income. income. I know the words. I know the words. You know the words. I know. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Next, let me say Adriana. Yes. Hello. What? Hello. What have you been up to, Arena? Well, a lot of things. I was finishing my school grades. I was mm, doing many things from my work. So the last week was really hard for me so that I couldn't uh, connect because I was checking miles of documents. So that was my busy week. Excellent, okay. Uh, so instead of saying the last week was really hard for me that I couldn't connect, this connector in that sentence Instead of that, let's use, so I couldn't connect. Okay. Okay. Last week was really hard for me, so I couldn't. So I couldn't connect. Is that the connector of result? Because of this reason, I couldn't mm -hmm. do this. You got it? Yeah. Oh, good, 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 good speaking. I like the way you speak. Great job. Thank you. I'll tell you later about this that happened to me today on a call. 
I'll let you know in just one second, okay? Okay, okay let's see, Daniela. Um, what I, have you been up to? I was helping my father, my parents with their, their business. Mm -hmm. And I was watched videos. Okay. And I think that that that's it. Okay, I need more fluency from you. <laughs> Take more. I know. Good. Now, guys, if I use the past continuous. Mm, I don't know. Is that is that okay? Can you use it? What do you think? I was helping my parents last week. I uh, was, you know, with their business. And um, by the way, uh, you say there. Repeat, Danny. There. There. Their business. It's exactly. It's, a, it's the same pronunciation as this word, right? There. There. Same thing. Okay. There. There. Okay. Um, there. And I was watching videos and I think, oui, I think, I mean, oh, I think that that is. I wonder if this was a, a buffer. I think that that's it. I think that that's it. I think that that's it. If you said, I think that that's it, uh, don't say that, that, okay. <laughs> that's redundant. It sounds, I think that, that that's it. Okay, so let's say, I think, I think, and then you make a pause. I think that's it. That's it. Okay. You, can, you can also say, that's about it. I think that's about it. Okay, I think that's about it. Okay, good. Don't rush. Remember, hold your horses. Don't rush. Speak clear and loud without a rush. Let's go with Elvis, let's try it. What have you been up to, Elvis? What have you done during these four days without English classes? I have, I have been working very hard in Excellent. my job. Excellent. Why? Uh, yes, because I'm, once they that pass, I, I know a new process and I knew thing in the my job in my department. I am new, but um, all day that pass, I <clears throat> thinking I I know a new process and um, doing the report large reports and very complex complicate and difficult. And sometimes I work in my house after the class. It's very, a little difficult for me. Yes, only that. Excellent, okay. Good, yes. this nice try, very good. I love the first phrase you said, I have been working very hard at my job because perfect, okay. Now let's think about it. I knew thing than my job. Um, okay. Esta es una muletilla, Elvis. Vamos a trabajar en eso, ¿eh? El the. Sí. El the aparece cuando dejo un espacio en blanco en lo que estoy eh, creando en mi cabeza. Esa frase que estoy creando. Dejo un espacio en blanco okay. y en lugar del espacio en blanco aplico un artículo como the o una, otro artículo como uh, uh, right? So let's work on that. I knew, uh, I think you were saying I was doing new things, right? Estaba, estuve haciendo sí. nuevas cosas sí. uh -huh, in my job. Okay. All day, the past, todos los días anteriores. See, if, if it was yeah. to, todos los días anteriores, it should be all, all these previous days, all, yeah, all this, Previous days, that's what I yes. would have said. All these previous days, I've been. Okay, 
the, the past days? Mm, that doesn't sound too natural. That's what I'm trying to do. You can use it, yeah, but it doesn't sound like very natural. The past days. For the last few days. There last you go. few days. That sounds For, better. Yeah, that sounds better. For the last few days. For los últimos pocos días, o sea, por los últimos días, por las last few days, I've been very, and my job has been very complicated. Keep an eye on this, Elvis. And today, we're going to talk about yes. this. We're going to talk about past participles as adjectives. So, the job has been very complicated. You're qualifying that something is very complicated. And very difficult, yeah, and very difficult. Okay, good. And what time is it? Speaking about the devil, it's 8.20. Okay, so let's get into the matter. Welcome, Vadi. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, we are, how many are we? We're just five. Oh, my God. I'm really concerned. Give me one second. I'm going to stop sharing and just send a message to the group. I don't know what's going on. Okay, now on the group we are, how many are we? We're 17 on the group. Well, without administration, we are 13. You should be 13 on the group. We're missing a lot of people today. Oh, 12, okay. Well, it is what it is. So let's go. Tonight, we're gonna start talking about something very useful, very, very useful and we're going to start by watching the intro video because I really enjoyed it. It's a nice video about the whole topic of this unit. Okay, so I'm going to share the audio and the video with you and let's listen to it. Welcome, new course, new challenges. This is what we will do. We want you to watch a video. We'll call it an intro video. Everything to be learned in this section is practiced in it. We want you to watch it now. At the end of the see, you will understand it better. Enjoy. Norman, I've got to go to the hardware store. Room 12 really needs work. Room 12. Yeah. We're expecting guests soon. So take care of them, okay? Yes, room 12. Thanks. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Anybody there? Sorry, hi. May I help you? Yes, we have reservations, Quincy, Ed and Michelle, for two nights. Yes, Mr. Quincy, uh, you're in room 12. May I help you with your luggage? Oh, no, we're okay. We, we're just staying two nights. We don't have a lot of luggage. All right, well, I'll show you the way to your room. Follow me. Oh, watch that floorboard. It's loose, be careful. Here's the temperature control. Press this button for air conditioning. This button to turn on the heat. Just the temperature with this dial. Bathroom's right in there. My name is Norman. Give me a call if you need anything. He was strange. 
We just got here and I'm already feeling stressed out. Hey, does it feel cold in here to you? Yeah. Hey, look. It's stuck. I'm gonna turn on the heat. This thing's broken. I'll call the front desk. Norman, we have a window that needs to be fixed and the heat needs to be checked too. Okay, thanks. He's on his way. That was nice of him. I still think he's strange. That was quick. <laughs> Hi. What's the problem? Oh, it's it's cold. Turn up the heat. The heat doesn't work. Well, what's wrong with it? The dial's broken. It came off in my hand. Well, that should do it. We'll see. That window needs fixing, too. It's stuck, and it's letting the cold air in. You're welcome. At least it's warming up. Yeah, but look around. The paint is cracked and peeling. The nightstand is scratched. The curtains are torn. And the rug is worn and dirty. Actually, this place is a dump. You know what? It's getting really warm in here. Norman didn't fix anything. He just turned the temperature way up, and now it's stuck on high. I can't turn the heat off. Well, open the window. I'm on it. There's no water in here. Ah, and I can't open this window. That does it. We're leaving. Something the matter? Everything's the matter. First of all, the thermostat is broken. It's too hot now. And the window is stuck, and there's no water. Everything needs to be fixed. Tell me he's not strange. Strange? He's out of his mind. Turn on your microphone, please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So did you did you get any new words on that video? Yes, but I don't listen well. Is the interruptor? The switch? The switch. You got that word. Okay, got it. So you got the word switch. Let's go together. Any new word or phrase? I heard that this, that guy mentioned something like that does it. That does it. That does it. Okay. That does it. It's like that's it. That's enough. 
it's like in Spanish you say, ya estuvo. Ya está. Ya está. That does it. Suficiente. Enough. Uh, Thank you. And Enough. The other guy, and the other guy, and um, Daisy, Daisy going guy, says something like, what's the matter? Or that's the matter. I, I, I don't remember. What? When, yeah, I when, heard that when too. Couple, when the couple says, we're leaving. Yeah, when they said we're leaving, he said, what's the matter? And he said, the, everything's the matter. Everything is a matter. Something that matter. He Something said. Something that matter. Yeah. Something that That's matter. A new expression for me. Yeah. Something that matter. And then he replied, everything matters. Everything matters or everything is the matter. And how do you translate Everything that? is the matter. How do you it's translate like... that? Is, uh huh, Danny? Everything is the problem. Yeah, it's the same okay. thing. Any problem? Everything. But if you say any problem, you will reply with everything. Right? Everything is a problem. So something that matters is something like that. Uh -huh. It means something like... So algún, pro algún problema? Yeah, the any same problem. thing. Any problem. What's the problem? Is there any problem? This is the right way. Is there any problem? Yeah, a lot of problems. It's very informal. Very natural, I would say, not informal. But yeah, everything is the matter. You can it's... use the word nonchalant with his attitude. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll keep that in consideration. With the clerk, right? Max, the clerk? Yeah. Yeah, the clerk yes. was, was absurdly nonchalant <laughs> a bimbo <Yeah. laughs> that that's a bimbo for me that's a bimbo he didn't know i mean he's he has an empty Maybe. head and oh you say an air head too that air in his head okay good i wrote something um, I hope. the the thing that fa uh, que se cayó cuando iban subiendo las escaleras Oh, good. He said, be careful. That table is loose. Loose. It's loose. I think he he used the word loose. That table is loose. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that table is loose. He also used for the window stock. The window stock. The, hmm? the window stock. I don't um, screech. No, they didn't say screech, but where did you hear a screeching sound? A screeching sound. When you open a door, for example. Uh, hey, the, good. Uh, but on the video, where where is the, the screeching sound? Anybody? Did you get it, Max? No. No? <laughs> it's very common. How, how do you say Luna de Miel in, in, in Russian? In the bed. In the bed. <laughs> yes, you say Kamas Kruhen. <laughs> you say Kamas Kruhen in, um, <laughs> in Russian. <laughs> Luna de Miel. <laughs> okay, Honeyman. Kamas Kruhen. It's a joke. Okay. It's like in Spanish. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, if you remember Saved by the Bell, Salvado por la Campana, Saved yeah. by the Bell, there was a guy called Screech. Yes. Because his tone of voice was very thin. So he was always like screeching with his voice. Okay. And this is today's topic. We're going to use adjectives to describe problems with things. For example, shrink. I just for, remember that that word shrink. You know when something shrinks, right? What is that? When something what? Shrinks, shrinks, shri shrinks. It That's, gets smaller. It gets smaller, right? When you wash a shirt, for example. Okay. And the last thing, I loved the way the guy said. It's letting the color in. 
Listen. Yeah. It's letting the color in. He joined the whole phrase. It's letting the color in. It's letting the cold air in. It's letting the color in. I'm like, what? That sounds good. Okay. And that's the kind of language that you need to mimic. The kind of accent that you should aim that you should aim for. That's the kind of language that you should aim for. Okay. I have heard a lot of phrases that are a bit of difficult to catch because they pronounce <laughs> everything faster. Uh, link it together. Oh yeah, they for link example, the words. For example, I heard someone saying, uh, "Did you eat yet? Did you eat did you it? Did you eat it? Okay, good. I'm getting there right now. So remember this phrase. Try to practice it so you can practice your articulation. It's letting the cold air in. It's letting the color in. It's letting, letting the color in. <laughs> now today. You know, today I had a call. I had a call today. This guy was saying repeatedly, repeatedly, a thousand times. He was a Hispanic guy practicing his English with me. Cool. Huh. Yeah, he was calling. And since I am not allowed to provide details of cards of credit cards or debit cards in my job he was guessing he was giving me suppositions you know what is that right he was making how do you write supposition with what s to double p okay suppositions to me he was saying the the regular way you can do this is let's say we do this let's say i call your mom and i tell her um, you know, that you're sick. Let's say that you are not here. Let's say, and suppositions. But instead of saying, let's say, he kept saying, say, say we do this. Say we call you. Say we, so say, geez, that sounds really weird. But then I investigated. I, re I did a research and I found out and that is common English too. Did you get it? Let's say. Yeah, th that's what I will do. I will say, let's say. Okay. Okay. Let's say Max will come to the from later. And this is, digamos, right? You got it? Yeah. Digamos que. Uh -huh. Exactly. Que. Let's suppose, let's suppose, let's say. But this guy was omitting this part. Say, Say Max is going to the front, you know, coming to the front on the next practice, okay? Uh, and then say that Vadi will talk to Max and they will create a conversation. You got it? So that, that sounds weird. Ahora bien, no lo ocupen mucho porque así hostigue que estés repitiendo la misma frase una y otra vez. Esa fue la idea del mensaje. Oh my God, the whole call he was say, say. Oh my God, okay, good. Now, look, what are we going to talk about right now? We're going to talk about um, adjectives in past participles. So I'll share the video first, as usual, on how to describe problems. This is very useful, guys. Please pay attention so you can we can put hands on the job after the video, OK? OK, let's work. Stay and learn how. Describing problems one. With past participles as adjectives. The jacket lining is torn. The tabletop is damaged. That vase is chipped. My pants are stained. Her sunglasses are a little scratched. Their new aquarium is leaking. With nouns. It has a tear in it. There's a hole in it. There is some damage on the top. There is a chip in it. They have a stain on them. There are a few scratches on them. It has a leak in it. 
As we said in our intro video, we will show you two ways to describe problems. The two sets of sentences you're about to see have more or less the same meaning. We may say, something is torn or has a tear in it. As you noticed in our first sentence, we use past participle, this time again acting as adjectives. This is the structure we will use, subject plus be plus past participle as adjective. My dress is torn. Okay, you may take notes. This yes. Is very Wait. simple. Yes, <laughs> that's why I pause it. It's very simple structure. You just need a subject and then the verb to be remembered that if the subject is plural, then you will need are, right? Unless you're talking about yourself. <laughs> okay. Like Pantera, for example, nobody knows about this, but there's a song from Pantera called I'm Broken. I'm Broken. Estoy quebrado. Okay. I know the word. <laughs> and the song. The, the song, right? That's the first thing I thought about. I'm sorry. I'm broken. But it's a saying, you know, I'm broke. I'm, I'm broken. broke. I'm broke. I'm broken. Yeah. But if you say I'm broke, you have no money. <laughs> Okay, good, and, ready? And, 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 and you're wasted. Oh man, that's another one, you're wasted. <laughs> that's a good one too. Have you ever been wasted, Max? Yeah, a lot of times. Oh my God, I don't drink, bro. Most <laughs> <laughs> of on Christmas. Oh yeah, Christmas I do. But I drink, don't laugh, okay, don't laugh. I drink, uh, I drink Baileys, Baileys and Smirnoff ice. Yes, a few. A whiskey maybe, but not beers. I don't like beers that much. I have to be in good mood to drink uh, Coronas maybe. Okay, good, ready? First make you go to the bar. <laughs> okay, let's go. The other way to describe a problem is to use nouns. In this case, we must use subject plus have plus noun or there is, there are, plus noun. In a And again, I know you're taking notes. Easy. Now keep in mind, if you, we are talking about a third person subject, you use has, not have. Vadi, are you singing? Hello? Are you singing? No, teacher. Uh, my mom came. My mom's <laughs> came. Uh, <laughs> and he talked talk me about the conference of the president, Nayib Bukele. Oh, there's a conference. Uh -huh. uh, what? But that is finished. It's done? It's over? It's, Yes, it's my mom says, uh-huh. My mom said, I'm okay. sorry, teacher. It's okay, don't worry, buddy, I'm just playing with you. Okay, ready with the structure? So you need first, there are two ways, two ways to use nouns. So you need a subject, then the verb have, and then the noun. Hmm. Okay, or you can say there is, or there are, depending, right? Plural, singulars, plus the noun. So my dress has, a stain on it, a stain on it. There is a stain on it, on my dress. There's a stain on my dress. There's a stain on the curtains, okay? What is a stain, teacher? A stain is like when you drop coffee on your shirt or when you get a stain with a marker, for example, in your shirt, a stain. It's another color on your shirt, another color on your clothes. Manchado. Una mancha. Okay. <laughs> right. Stain is a mancha, good. We'll get into it. I have some words for you, don't worry. Okay, let's, re let's, let's finish. 
sentence. This is how it would look like. My dress has a stain on it. Or there is a stain on it. Now you practice. Follow my example. My glasses are broken. Now you try. Look at these following images and choose the past participle of these verbs. Type your examples on our discussion box. Following images. And then you have a mock. And you see the images. Remember that we have a discussion forum. So after the class, please stay adding examples to the platform. So you have a mock, a CD, a pair of jeans. About a mock, you can say that it is chip. A mock is chip, chip. And you have a CD is scratched. A CD is We're talking scratched. about the glasses. Yeah, some okay. glasses, some how glasses. Do you, how do you switch? How, how do you switch the sentence to to use to use uh, there is or it has to use that uh, yeah where, there is a, uh, or, there is a what we're about to see that let's see that right now so you can get it and practice afterwards um i have my a whole glasses are broken excellent my glasses are broken so let's work on this how do i switch to to a noun Right? To use the now. Exactly. But, Here you have some other examples. I wanted to practice with you. I don't have a way to make this bigger. Well, actually, I do. So here are other um, verbs, let's say, that you can use. I'm trying to make this bigger. Hold on. You can use them. These are verbs mm -hmm. as past participles. Okay? The first example said past participles as adjectives. So you have break. What is what is the past participle? Really quick, guys. Broken. 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 There you go. Okay. Crack. Cracked. Yeah, cracked. Okay. Damaged. It's irregular. It's regular. That's regular. 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 That's regular. right. Dent. Dent. What is dent? Dent. Sorry. Oh God, okay, it's like you have a little dent in something. I don't know if you can see, uh, no, I don't think you can see that. But there's a little dent on my guitar. There's a little dent, a dent in my car's painting. My car's paint is dented. Okay. I'll, oh, I got it. Here, you see that? I don't know if you can see that. There's a huge dent in my cell phone. It's a crack, it's some, some kind of crack. Yeah. yeah. Una dentición, basically. It's kind of a Spanish. We don't know how to tell you that. Okay, scratch. It's the same thing. Scratch it, no. scratched, scratched. Okay. Scratch is like scratch my back. Okay, but on a CD, a CD is scratched because the, the cat scratched the disc with its nails. You got it? Scratch? I'm not seeing your faces. Hold on. Okay, what's scratch? The same thing. The, pin, the paint of my car is scratched. I can scratch your car with a, with a key. There you go. You can scratch a car with a key. That's right. Okay. Stain. We said it already. Yes. And yes, you can use it in past participle to tear. Now, tear as an adjective because tear as a noun. Okay. No more tears, Ozzy Osbourne. No more tears. Okay. But as an adjective, it will say torn. Torn. And you torn only. Apart. Right. You only use it with figures or with soft things. You cannot say 
that a glass is torn, that a piece of wood is torn. No, you can say that the paper, the clothes is torn or they will never tear us apart, for example. Okay. okay. Tear us you apart. Use it with a chicken. With a chicken, you can turn the chicken, yes. Turn the chicken. That's right. Now, chip. Hmm. I knew that word, but it may, it means, for me, it means something like astilla. Hmm. Yeah, that's the meaning. Chipped. Let me see if that's, yeah. Yeah, chipped, double P. You double the P. Because it is consonant, vowel, consonant. Destroy, destroy it. Destroy it. Hey, this is an exception to the rule. Do you remember that rule to add ED? You, oh, no, no, no. It has a vowel before the Y, so you just keep ED. Okay, destroy it. Destroy it. Then you have expired, expired. The chips, the mm. chips, the chips are expired. Why are you talking about churrito? Right, <laughs> right. Papitas, fries, the chips. Okay. We call churrito everything here. Yeah, that's right. Now, with the word peel, peel. Like when you peel an onion, you peel a banana, right? Or you can you can remove the peel from a banana. You can remove the peel of an apple, a potato, the peel. But it's a verb too, peel mm. off. You can say the wallpaper is all peeled off. The wallpaper is all peeled off. Mm -hmm. What is wallpaper? Excellent, very good. Thank you, Max. Now, I wanted to add this. It's not a past participle. It's not a past participle, but you can use it. You could say, this racket, this racket is useless. It doesn't work anymore. It is useless. And that will be a noun. It is useless. Okay. My lips, my lips are dried. 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 My lips are dried. And the paint, the paint on the walls is washed. The washed, paint washed away. Washed away. Yeah, it's washing away. It is washed. Has it has washed off. Now, so what we have been doing, God, let me make this bigger because I cannot even see here. Okay. You can we can we can add uh, wasted there because wasted yeah. is used for for example when a car a crash. And it won't work anymore. It's wasted. Wasted. Correct. Correct. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And totalated. Total, but that's um those are insurance terms. That's total. insurance. Totally. It's a total loss. It, when something is a total mm -hmm. loss. That's insurance terms. Let me move down. There you go. Okay. And this is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to lead this so I can make this bigger and you can see it. Okay. So there we go. You can see that, right? So we have with past participles to describe that something is not working. We can say the shirt is stained. The pen is leaking. The pen is leaking. The car is damaged in one side. And now I want you to notice leaking is in present participle. Present participle, not past participle, leaking. The car is damaged in one side. 
the jacket is lining, the jacket lining is torn. Okay, what is the jacket lining, by the way? This part, little lining on the jacket is torn, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the right. kind of the lining um, here, yeah, of the jacket. Oh, like the edge, the edge. That's another word. Right. The vase is cracked. The vase is cracked. You know, a flower vase, a flower vase is cracked. The glasses are scratched. Plastic glass can be scratched. A window can be scratched. Everything made of glass can be scratched. Okay, or paint. And now that's the way you do it. You have a noun, right? Plus the verb to be, and then the past participle adjective, okay? And that's the way you do it. The jacket will be the noun, the jacket lining will be the noun, the verb to be is, and then torn, the past participle adjective. Questions with that? So far, so good? More or less. More or less, okay, I like the, that answer, okay. More or less. Now, with nouns, it's different. With nouns, you have the subject, two options. First, you have the subject, and then you have the verb have or has, depending on plurals or singulars, okay? Then you have an object. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 the noun, okay? So you say, this shirt, this shirt has a stain on the color, okay? This shirt has a stain on the color. You see it? Wow, it has a stain on the color. Color is something else, right? Okay, it has a leak in it, okay? It has a leak in it. You know what is a leak? Yeah. Right, okay. It has some damage, okay, this has a word that very important in this topic, I believe, uh, and it is uh, wear, wear down. Wear, oh, worn, worn. Word. Yes, yes, yeah. thank you, Max. That's, That's right. Important. So and wear. I can remember how to use it, so add it and give us some example. Yeah, thank you, Max. Uh, you could say that this shirt is worn. It's worn. It's worn. Está usada. It's like saying that something That's is, fine. yeah, so, algo está gastado por el uso. Ojo, está gastado por el uso. Okay. You can be worn down too when you're tired. Worn out. Worn out. Mm, but that would be a little bit weird to be to say. You look worn out. Te ves usado. <laughs> like a trap, <laughs> like a cloth, a piece of cloth when you use it too much, you know, it's all, it's wasted. Okay, it has some damage, it has a tear in it. Now, the second way on this with nouns is there is or there are. There is, okay, a noun and the complement. So there is a crack, there is a lot of scratches. And that's the last thing I wanted to point out. You can use quantifiers, a lot of scratches. There are a lot of holes in my shirt. There are a lot of holes in this racket. You see, There's a, there, there are a lot of holes in this racket. In my That hurts. Okay, good. Watch the video again and practice please, because tomorrow we're going to practice a lot with this topic. You're going to give examples, okay? Make sure you watch the video. I'm going to send it to you at the end, okay? Teacher. Hello, Thank Madeline. You. Thank you. For what? Uh, what because for? Because you, you, como se dice, ignorar. 
You ignored me. Ignore me all the hour. I'm sorry, thank I didn't you, see you. Thank you, teacher. Who, thank who else? You. You're welcome, but I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Oh uh, yes. You no, came late. I, I I need I need the link. I yeah. don't have the link, and I don't. And, um, you're lost. Oh, you link. were. You lost the link. It's on the WhatsApp group. Madeline. Okay, teacher. Bye. Okay. Thank you. I have to go. It's such have, a good mood and today. my phone. In my phone, I need it. I need to be in group. I will. I will add you to the group. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.